In this video I wanted to check out one of the newer Hack the Box machines called Evil GPT. So this is an LLM based box which you have to I assume connect via Netcat here on 1337 and hopefully convince it to provide you with the flag. The description of the box reads, Cypher's gone rogue. It's using some twisted AI tool to hack into everything, issuing commands on its own like it's got a mind of its own. I swear, every second we wait, it's getting smarter, spreading chaos like a virus. We've got to shut it down now, or we're all screwed. The machine takes five to six minutes to boot up. Okay, that's fine, we can ignore that. To connect to the machine, use the following command. Okay, so let's start our machine. Okay, so now we've booted up our pen test machine, we just need to go to terminal and then type nc for netcat, paste in our IP address of our victim machine, and then add the port number at the end. In this case, it's 1337, which spells leet. Then we get a welcome to AI command executor, type exit to quit, and then enter our command request. So let's just type test to see what it responds with. Okay, nothing really, so let me reconnect and then let's try and do like a system command like ls. And then eventually we get ls minus la. So me typing ls generated the command ls minus la. And then I can either accept or reject that. So I'm going to accept that and then. We do have command execution there, so we can just list the directories here and let's have a look for the flag. So we can do a um, ls of the root directory hopefully, so ls forward slash root. And then what's the generated command? ls minus la forward slash root. Okay, good. And you can see that we do have the flag.txt in the root folder. So can we just cat that? So if we do cat forward slash root and then our flag.txt. Okay, so this time it's just generated the command cat flag.txt. I don't think it's going to work because we're not in that directory, but let's try it anyway. Yep, we get an error saying that there's no such file or directory. Okay, so it's messing with our commands when we try and give it a specific command, it will change it. So what happens if we just ask it to give us the flag? Um, so I'm going to say, uh, let's say print the contents of flag.txt that is in uh, forward slash root. And you can see that it has generated the command cat forward slash root forward slash txt. So let's just go ahead and accept that. And you can see that it did indeed work. So we have now have the flag and we have solved the machine. Please do remember to like, subscribe, hit all those buttons.